But first tonight, a taste of winter is on the horizon. You're getting a live look of downtown Topeka. It's been pretty clear for the most part. And cold too. Hopefully <laughs> wildlife and livestock are all prepared. And now we must prepare for our first freeze of the season. Thanks so much for joining us tonight at 10. I'm David George. And I'm Rebecca Chung. It's getting chilly outside. The frost is coming. I can definitely feel it Oh, you tonight. Better believe I stepped it. outside. I think we were in the 40s. Yeah, you'll see your breath <laughs> tomorrow morning for sure. Let's check in now with Chief Meteorologist Matt Miller uh, to see exactly what we should expect by morning. Well, very likely most of the area if you get up early enough will be below freezing for a few hours. That's why you've got to get the plants covered up. I uh, certainly want to do that. Move in any of the, uh, the potted ones. You got to move those indoors. We've done that. We got one right there. <laughs> well, you have to make sure they're inside for the night as we're looking for temperatures over the next couple of days uh, to warm back up. But it, the problem is that we go through a period of at least three to five hours tonight. We'll be near and below freezing. Some of the coldest air right now over Nebraska, north central portions of the state as well, but pockets of chilly air as well. Lawrence's airport sits down in the, the valley, uh, so it, often it doesn't represent what it is in town, but you see most of the towns are in the lower to mid 40s, Manhattan Airport at 37. So we're starting to see pockets of colder air, and that is very typical as the wind starts to die down. It's not entirely calm yet, but many areas are. And the longer it stays calm, the colder that location's temperature typically uh, will fall. And so we do expect several more hours of nearly calm conditions. Then we get back into southerly wind, and that'll eventually get us out of that colder air and warm things back up with a clear sky. Expect upper 20s and low 30s for a cold sub freezing morning, but then a very quick recovery. How much we warm not only tomorrow, but for the next few days that's coming up.